हेलो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज सिद्धार्थ डवे एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मैक्रो एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स फॉर प्लांट्स फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द हाइड्रोपोनिक टेक्निक्स इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मैक्रो एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स राइट फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस वीडियो इफ यू रियली लाइक my videos then please you should have to hit that like button because that tells me that i should make some more videos on biology and biotechnology okay see first of all we need to learn about the criteria for essentiality right criteria for essentiality it means uh the essential element when the uh, the question is arise when the element becomes essential so the element uh when it is said that essential it means that that element is not synthesized into the plant okay and that's why plant needs to take that element from the outer sources that means from the soil and other things okay so when that element is not synthesized into the plant that elements become essential and there are certain criteria which has been framed which is known as the criteria for the essentiality okay so we have to discuss that criteria the first criteria is the element must be absolutely necessary for supporting the normal growth and reproduction okay in the absence that means in the absence of that element the plants do not complete the life cycle or set the seed okay तो ऐसा अगर एलिमेंट होगा तो दैट एलिमेंट इज नोन एज द एसेंशियल एलिमेंट्स राइट सेकंड क्राइटेरिया इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द एलिमेंट मस्ट बी स्पेसिफिक एंड नॉट रिप्लेसेबल बाय द अनदर एलिमेंट इन अदर वर्ड्स डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ वन एलिमेंट कैन नॉट बी मेट बाय सप्लाइंग सम अदर एलिमेंट ओके दिस इज वेरी इजी टू लर्न दैट ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट which is essential it must be specific okay it cannot be replaceable by the another and the third criteria is the element must be directly involved into the metabolism of the plant okay so these three are the criteria for essentiality okay see based on this criteria the few elements have been found to be absolutely essential for the plant growth and metabolism okay and these elements are further divided into broad categories based on their quantitative requirement based on their quantitative requirement and these are macronutrients and micronutrients right macronutrients when you break this word it becomes macro plus nutrient macro macro that itself says large so macronutrients are the nutrients which requires in larger amounts okay in the opposite micronutrients requires in smaller amount the nutrients which requires in smaller amount okay now see the larger and smaller it means how much so larger means it requires greater than 10 millimole per kg of the dry matter of the plant and micronutrients requires in less than 10 millimole per kg of the dry matter of the plant okay now see uh let us discuss some of the examples of the macronutrients okay and which are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen potassium sulfur phosphorus calcium silicon and magnesium okay friends i have prepared one formula to remember all these macronutrients and the formula is john ksp casimeja okay john that is c h o n k s p cas imeja c a s i m g okay uh, from this elements carbon hydrogen and oxygen plants will obtain this three elements from co2 and water while others they are absorbed from the soil as mineral nutrition okay so c h o n john k s p cas imeja okay now see micronutrients micronutrients are manganese cobalt Molybdenum, boron, zinc, chlorine, cobalt, nickel, vanadium, and iron. See, friends. 
For this also I have prepared one formula that means Menko MNCO MOBO MOBO Menko MOBO then Zia that is that in Menko MOBO Zia Cloco Cloco CL CO Cloco Ni Ve and you have to remember iron. Okay, see friends, C2. Uh, here two CO, one it is for copper and one it is for cobalt. Okay, and these are the names of all these elements. Okay, so you can easily remember uh, both the formulas for micronutrients as well as the macronutrients, right? Here the formula is Menko Mobozia MNCO MOBO, whatever. And then in Menko Mobozia Cloco Nive. Okay. So this is the formula and one another element that is iron. So these all are the micronutrients. Okay. See friends. Ek bar fada fada revise kar dete hai. Macronutrients requires in larger amount. And the examples are as per the my formula that is John KSP Kasi Meja. Okay. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, sulfur, phosphorus, calcium, silicon and magnesium. And the macronutrients are Menko Mobozia, Cloco, Nive. Okay, these are the macronutrients which requires in uh, micronutrients which requires in smaller amounts, right? Smaller in the sense less than 10 millivolt. Okay, friends, if you really like my video, then please hit that like button. Okay, and if you have not subscribed yet, please isko subscribe bhi kar de taki aapko aur bhi mere notifications milte rahe. Okay, friends. चलिए तो मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में तब तक के लिए बाय बाय